Hi, this is Dr. Darren Schmidt at the Nutritional Healing Center of Ann Arbor. And this is a video about high healthy fats that are easily accessible for your diet. Um, before I get into what those are though, I want to talk about um, the Atkins era. So the 80s and 90s, Dr. Atkins um, was pretty popular, but there were three things that he was missing regarding good information related to eating fats. So number one, you want to test ketones in the blood. So ketones are the fat that the body loves to burn more than any other fat. And when you're burning ketones, it's called ketosis. And he was using keto sticks, which is uh, a little stick that you urinate on. And it'll tell you if there's a certain quantity of ketones in the urine. So if you're, so in the blood, if your ketones are here in the blood and the sugar is here, you're not going to be burning ketones. You'll always be burning sugar. These have to flip. So if your ketones are higher than sugar, then you're good. Okay, now let's get back to this. So your sugar is here. And your ketones are here. You start eating um, healthy fats, and your ketones go up like this. So this, at this level, you may be spilling ketones into the urine, but you're not burning ketones because your sugar is still too high. So Dr. Atkins missed that just because we didn't have the technology at the time, but now we do, and uh, we actually measure that in the office. You can buy something online to measure ketones in the blood, and compare that with glucose. Number two, he was missing this concept of eating healthy food that's not filled with chemicals. So he recommended um, artificial sweetener um, um, and other like preservatives and stuff and processed food. As a matter of fact, they still make Atkins bars and it's filled with chemicals. So you want to avoid that. Um, and it was okay in the 70s when most of the food was okay. But now our food is a disaster and you want to eat as cleanly as possible. And then number three... Protein burns like sugar. So Atkins always talked about eating low carb, but he said then that you could go high protein or you can go high fat as long as you're eating low carb. So some people ate low carb and they ate high protein at the same time. Well, if protein burns like sugar, you might as well be eating high uh, sugar. So these are three points I just want to clear up. Now, the last thing before I get into the list of fats is this. Ketosis is not the same as ketoacidosis. I said this before, and I gotta say it again, because I went on Google and I searched this, and Google says, not just a website, but actually Google had their own page. It said that ketosis and ketoacidosis are the same thing. They are not the same thing. This is burning fat, and this is a diabetic that's dying because their glucose is out of control, their um, insulin's out of control, and this is very dangerous right here. It's like saying cat and car are the same thing. The words are similar, but they're not the same thing. So ketosis and ketoacidosis are completely different, just like cat and car are completely different. Okay, now here's a list of fats. And I broke them up in a couple different categories. And the first category here, these are um, fats that are really good for when you're, um, if you're fasting. So let's say you're skipping breakfast, and it's called intermittent fasting. So you eat dinner at 6 p.m., and your next meal is at noon the next day. You just went 18 hours with no food. That's intermittent fasting. These fats can be consumed while you're fasting, like at 8 a.m. or 9 a.m. So here's MCT oil. That stands for medium-chain triglyceride oil. And all of these are medium-chain triglycerides, meaning that they pass into the brain easily to feed the brain. Um, as opposed to long-chain triglycerides like bacon and steak. Okay, so other MCT oils would be coconut oil, extra virgin olive oil, nut oils, avocado oil, fish oils. All these you can just drink, or like the coconut oil, eat it with a spoon. Um, you can put butter in here too. And here's bone broth at the, at the bottom. Okay, now on this side we have healthy fats, and then these are mixed in with some carbohydrates or some protein. But these are foods that you have to eat during your eating hours, not during your fasting hours. So this first one is a good fat bar. i got to plug that. That's a company that I started with a couple friends. It's, the website's goodfat.bar. Um, and the base of that is cacao butter, which is a fantastic, super satisfying fat. And here we have olives, avocados, organic fr free-range eggs, fish eggs, nuts, seeds, nut butters, and then 100% chocolate. So if you find a chocolate bar that's 90%, that means it's 90% chocolate, 10% sugar. 
If your chocolate bar is 75% chocolate, then it's 25% sugar. So this is 100% chocolate, it's bitter, um, but it's full of fat. Okay, now we have, on this side, dairy sources. So dairy is very valuable for its fat. And um, if your body can't handle dairy, like you're lactose intolerant, or it causes runny nose or something, then this isn't for you. But if your body's okay with dairy, here we have full fat cheese, including cottage cheese. Raw and or organic is best. Yogurt, full fat yogurt with no added sugar. Organic butter, ghee, which is a form of butter. Kefir, which is a thick dairy, of course, full fat. You can buy kefir that's full of sugar and low fat. Just don't even bother. It's a bit bitter. This, this organic full fat kefir is a little bit bitter. And then whole milk, a raw from grass fed animals. So some people are drinking goat milk or cow milk. You want it to be um, as clean as possible and not skim milk or not 2%. Skim milk is like drinking Gatorade with the amount of sugar that's in it. You got to go with the full fat. Okay, on this side we have meat and fish. So uh, red meat, steak, pot roast, beef, fatty chili, um, broad sausage. And I'm going to mention here, you can go to a store and find all lean brats and lean sausage. And it's dry and it's not very satisfying. So you want to go with the higher fat brats and sausage. It's got to, be, it's got to make you happy. And then bacon. I mean, there's turkey bacon, which has basically no fat. But then there's regular bacon. And if you're going to eat bacon, you got to go with the full fat bacon. This is to get your body in a fat burning mode. All right, we're trying to reduce the protein and we're re reducing the sugar. All right, fats and org organ meats from organic grass fed animals. And then whole fish that's fatty, like salmon. These fish um, swim deep in the ocean where it's cold, um, pre preferably the Atlantic Ocean, not the Pacific. So go with the fatty fish. All right, so here's my uh, uh, survey on uh, fats, and I hope I helped you out with some new information. But start incorporating these fats, and ideally, you get into ketosis a few days a year. And that's it. Like, if you're in ketosis four days a year, you've turned off all those bad DNA, all the cancer DNA, heart disease, diabetes. And if you're an endurance athlete, you should be in ketosis um, 15 hours every day. So it's a gradient depending on what you want to do. All right, so I hope this helps.